Hey, yo, people in the house. This is New Year with Ado Valley Podcast. Playing Kenyan music. Mambo Vipi, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Ado Valley Podcast. This is the number one Kenyan music podcast. This is season four. And my name is Pesh. Mambo Vipi, everyone. I go by the name Ado Valley. And as always, serve you nothing but the best of Kenyan music. Today we are joined on this episode by one and only Mr. Cricket Smile, the Yellow Mellow Fellow, a.k.a. Eugene Kim from OTB Podcast. Awesome. So if you haven't heard of Eugene, he runs that podcast known as OTB. And maybe did to invite on this episode. By the way, we are recording from FTC Studios. That is for the culture studios. So, uh, Eugene, najua mm. una interacting hii na wasani sana. And uh, once a while, mujaribu. Once a while. Eh. Mashow unaenda. Zingine, half of the time na kuanga tunikisikiza mangoma. Because mashow miu kwa na mashida, na shida na from personal to, you know, artist. But yeah, miu ishia. Okay, awesome. So, nilikuwa ntaka to tackle my issue flani wasani uanganazo sana like poor habits wasani uanganazo aimanishi ni wasani wale wa kuestablish ama the upcoming so from your point of view kama gani unajua miki kama kwa performances muko na shida moja main hiyo ndio union kabisa na yuko artist akiishia ku perform unapata ame come na mp3 version ya ngoma. So in the background unasikia the whole song inacheza artist anakuwa hype man. Unaona? Alafu but at the same time kuna hype man on stage. So mmejazana stage na kuna kitu inaendelea. So adika mimi as part of the audience. Yeah. Nasikia nika nasikize ngoma mtani but hata was quality kwa sababu kuna kelele. Okay, so umenikumbusha something. Uh there's a clip I need to play for you guys. Uh, so like you can see on this video Fatboy Gwash is performing and then kuna msia anakuzima mbele like yo ni aje Gwash. Eh uh, yo yo ngoma ichezi kwa yo flash. Tabidi ulete tinje tuweke. Na uh, fanya aje mpete nje. Okay. No I'm just checking the scenario. You see he goes to talk the guy then again anakuja and I distract Gwash. So Gwash cannot even concentrate on the performance because and I'm quite distracted. What I'm baki ni my hype man wake which are like 15 of them. Gwasha kuko nyuma, what do I enjoy? So like it's crazy for artists. I think hata kama unaweza chukua bra kwa kwe stage manager wako inaweza kuwa at least. By the that video was uploaded by Capital. That was the Koroga festival that happened in where was it again? Rogel kwa Tatu City this time. Yeah. Ulishia? Yeah. Nope. Uh, me pia I was not able to attend the Koroga festival, but let me state this that um e video definitely it's showing um a very poor performance or and poor performance poor delivery for me cuz kuna watu wengi sana kwa stage. I always have a problem with that. Watu wabaja kwa stage mimi na kuanga tuna shida mingi sana hata kama ni video imeja wa say me kwangu I just don't really go ahead and watch it but it really depicts what we are talking about poor stage performances also poor delivery because ukikuwa distracted as an artist you don't really deliver as that much you end up just perform uko tu hapo tu limited you're not performing for the people who came to see you perform you're just like performing for yourself and the people you came with okay you nimeshika but acha tuongelee e performance especially e clip to make us i yeah. Il clip ile kwa about gosh. Yeah. No not basically. Well well from in reality the mwenye anaonyeshwa hapo the artist mwenyewe ni gosh. Yeah. Hiyo ni shida nyingine pia. Okay, so this same at gosh. This same at gosh kuna ngoma baya. Okay. Same wa bebe ni ngoma itasikika. Ni tu venye at this party at this particular point aki perform. Yeah. I don't think I'll come I'm a preparer for for performance. Definitely. That's no, true. No. That's true. Because unafaa kuonelewa nikiwa on stage there's a few things that I should and shouldn't do. But otherwise hii hakuna hakuna kitu kai inaendelea hapa. Ah wasi wamekamindo you know wa performer onekane. Nafika 
Genge yeah. ini this is genge tun. Ilianzia no. like six months ago. No, I'm, no I'm, I'm talking in general sense. Like ilianzia six months that. ago. Iko Roga Festival. Yep. The lineup, sure, nelewa. It was to bring in wasi. Nelikuwa because of purpose here, you know. Awa si wakuna fame sai, wakuna cloud sai, wakuna the hype. So most likely wata, let, wata bring in more people. But if unataka event yako ishike, you have to think beyond the crowds that are coming in. You have to think about it like an experience. You know, so no now asa naangalia tu, ah, ini demoza wa soa kamu wa wapate haipu ishimta. I don't think I'll come in that aspect. So Pia, the other thing it goes to organizers, Pia. If you have an event to organize, at least Angalia, you look at it in a different way. Don't just look at it as the artists who are coming or the music that's going to be playing. Anyway, Eugene, we want to go for a music break. So, so uh, actually, actually, I'm going to go to Kwanza, of course, Tayo Tripper. In it was Run. Tayo Tripper called Run. Now, this is what I'm Mwajo misi sikizangi ngoma tu ati ndo siku ishe. Miki sikizangu mwuko na reason behind it. O maybe natafuta kitu. Okay. Na for this song ya Tayo, initongo just, initua run, do it. Uh, nietu kuambia wa say, life peleka pole pole. Elewa kile, as in, yes, unezataka kuwa level ya mse mwingine. Unezataka kuwa kama mse mwingine. Unaona marifu wako, wote wako level flani na wewe bado kuko down. Nisawa. It's okay. Keep running your race. Keep up the faith. So that's Yoni Akwanza. The other one, ni no formula. Ina it isa ni zilengo mazao fa. Nojaza zilengo matu no fa la yani design. Lakini ni fine ni produce wa sawa. Ni ngoma ya hype. So ina itwa no formula. Sensei, produced by M Cubed, featuring Elsa Elsa Fanjora. So yeah, zana ngoma bill. Awesome. Kwanza a big shout out to Tayo Tripper. Siju kama but I'm, I know mostly na kwanga supersonic na wamekuwa kiekele ya kazi sana. Umekuwa kucheki hizo episodes zao za kilele session. Hizi stuff mtaniambia kwenye zinatoka. Jumi okay, wana, at the moment I think what I upload YouTube or something. Oh yeah, cause... At the moment they're only doing it on IG and his stories so ana kwanga me save so you ah, just yeah. check them but it's then ana kwanga short sun i think ni meziona yeah so i think maybe they'll drop them on youtube some very soon so but big up to tayo trip and all the the whole team of kele session ana kwanga me kele kai sun so let's go guard those songs then come back Remember to interact with us on social media. Find me on Twitter at Penina101 and on Instagram, find me at Penina underscore one zero. So, man's already famous. No need to at me, but you can find me on the social media. Twitter at Adoveli Radio. Facebook and Instagram is at Adoveli. Eugene, how can guys get you on the social media? Uh, socials, by the way. Same, same. At OTB Pod KE Personal. Uh, you need less mood after. At underscore Eugene Kim. Mr. Crooked Smile, the yellow mellow fellow. But anyway, profile zangu ni chini ya So just follow the podcast at OTB Pod KE. That's Out the Booth Podcast. Awesome. So uh, we're still on the bad habits that uh, musician, especially our Kenyan musician who are now. So your problem, Iko. Iko. You, you see that problem, Iko? So for somebody like Gwash, mm. start to picture Gwash kama Jay-Z. For somebody like Gwash, mm. and it's a solvage issue. Well, for one, Gwash has been in the industry for long. True. So I think I'm going to take his time, Kwanza. I live at at least end of the show, you know, club, we share to my forum, to where you can also perform to Kaizo. In that way, you can get your uh, stage uh, presence here. Uneza kuwako on it. No, no. Uh, so far, you don't have to think Okay, Pesh? Me, Nita, echo to when Eugenia Mesema, like, you have to be really prepared for an event because there's kuna stuff that Ojia Lisemanga about crowd interaction and crowd engagement, you know? That is what, when you're getting ready for an event, how am I going to engage with them or how are we going to engage together? Because looking at this performance, there isn't really that aspect of crowd engagement. And then how many people are really actually going to that extent of yeah. just following what you do because there's not that engagement. So, I'm saying to Ajipanga too, okay, to our event, 
go go get go rehearse go get ready for that event maze be ready to deliver our sep ya wajua wenyewe jo umekuja kutesa si jokes okay awesome so like uneza blame the can you guys blame the nini the organizers I I won't blame the organizers because na join event na sisi wote tunataka kila mtu anatafuta ule msanii mwenye anahita that particular moment not to drive crowds and all of that uh organizers mimi naweza criticize sana na sisi mimi ati wafanyangi kazi poa ufanya kazi poa thing is we need better research like every weekend hadi say weekend hadi next weekend hadi throughout the week kuna artist pale ana perform na huyo artist pale ana perform ame perform up for maybe years sai ame vision you you aspect of control crowds ya kukaa pale ya kuambia ya kuweza kujua kama hii crowd inahitaji hype na nitafanya nini kama hii crowd ni ya kutulia nitafanya aje kani ngoma ya kubanju tutaipeleka aje kuna artist ameelewa hiyo stuff lakini ukiangalia DC not just in events everywhere the issue of research artist repertoire and research uweze kuelewa artist ni nani mbona na move venye na move na kama anaweza kuwa viable for your your place ama your you know event your station or anything your research ndio ifanye ndio maana sasa unapata watu wanaongojea tu msia hit <laughs> unaona tu ni hit makers event imejaa hit makers na ujue easy hits unapatanga 3 months later tulisha sahau first to tulisha sahau when artist tumesahau hiyo ngoma ni gani na hiyo performance yako hata tukukuja ama tulikuja na tukarudi home tukaanza kuteta si wote online area tungeenda ah, nini eh hey, area tungeenda nilisikia si juu nani alikuwa hii side nyingine ri tungeenda hiyo na vinyi ilishika unaona yeah. so your research needs to be done it needs to be done really well ndo before hadi msia ndo before mseme eh hey, check it kuna event hapa tukieni hii mneze hype in such a way artist wana collect eh hey, unakumbuka ile edit tuliandika kuona ule mse Mkumbuka vinya lishikisha ile place atakosa aje kushikisha ile place ingine As in marketing yenu ina turn from just nyinyi ku market inakuwa di mafanzo huyu artist anaweza i market Unaona Okay for me uh, I'm criticizing first of all I have to criticize the event organizers because one I have the privilege to be on a few backstage of few events and first things first they have to know the number of people you are going to with on the stage and they have to know like kazi yao ni gani na kuna those events that they don't entertain kuja na crowd kwa stage the photographers and also people who are taking your videography guy kuna event they are not allowed to be on stage they only can be allowed to be up chini ya stage kama stage iko juu or something like that but kwa stage you fail kuwa So for the organizers apo wali to fail. Another thing kuna my event artists like before a perform una submit ngoma zako na unaambiwa if you're using playback you are submitting instrumental. If an artist a member submit instrumental that means he has to practice. Atakuja TA. Do you know the if you have the playback you know the lines are there. So you're just going to come hey Mikono juu you are not even seeing because if the instrument is just playing back and people is, will see you now enjoy cuz you issue you issue a playback na instrumentals mean mean me have always campaigned for artists to you know think about your song okay, when you go to the studio in go mean is perform your live do i want to perform this song live kitu kawa baby of course you want to perform this song live yeah so in a five produce way in such a way that Adia kienda on stage ako fine yongo mimi natokea na the same quality mimi msemu mmoja nimeenda tu okay for the few events nimeenda msemu mmoja pekee ndo nimesikia playback yake ilikuwa perfect na ada ki perform high drown uh, yeye yeah, yeah, na kwa mic so, maanisha ni msiamelewa mic mtaji, control mtaji ndo next time twende show yake atakani yeah. ya playback you just be gangi promo tu hivi sawa sawa <laughs> so yeah, so yeah your design lazima ukwe na hiyo playback yako lazima ikuwe in such a way umeelewa the day before tokea sound check perform ngoma mzima ama perform set yako mzima ndo ukiishia home uko like e place ni change 
ama i place ni zafanya hivi but unajua at least for so far uko sawa unaona hiyo practice ni tunasema so that's something pia so definitely another thing solution is what to find sound check because sound check na pia hiyo video labda guasha naambia ni aje eh yango ma next na sikia jua i load inaonesha ma error na mwanambe guasha na cha page zeni na tinge naambia zi tinge tu hizi tumia you get so like kama guash i'm imagining the scenario kama guash maybe ngoma zake ziko zimeload ni kwa sababu they didn't do sound check yeah. most definitely na hiyo juu sijui wanaambia guash nini kwa stage hiyo mpaka wana drag almost kwa dj <laughs> Bana nasema yuko bebala kubebana mkila pahali bana acha nini hata ni heri angewaambia yeye ndiko perform baki home awasikia alikuwa ameperform Jua though is in in kufanya nele i understand ni new artists na you know easy vitu mtaland over time but this is also one way of learning critique at what you kitu na critique there's a difference yeah. so level up Yeah there's a difference because also we are seeing the problem offering solution. Remember you can find the podcast available on other platforms such as on SoundCloud, iTunes and on Spotify. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our episodes to many people as possible. You can also search Adobe the podcast on the interwebs and you'll find us across many platforms where you can stream and also download. Uh before to Malizie, Eugene, do you have anything kuongezea? Uh, Z, mina nasema tu binya tu tumeongea artists before performance rehearse find you someone who can you know anaweza fanya ukwe more discoverable and finally branding muhimu ama ni aje si tumesema hivyo most definitely yeah. anyway mimi sina mengi i'll just be closing down this episode asante sana Eugene for joining us today shukran shukran yeah we hope to see you on another episode again mimi niambia tu any time niko ready kutokea mimi sina shida okay sawa sawa so before i close down ningependa tupatie two songs za kumalizia oh yeah so two more songs nimeshawachezea the first one liko ya tayo nikamwambia take life as it comes you know pole pole as always soundcloud is where we go so the next the last two songs mean as a chagua ni nakudai when dike munto and front row which is the mark gizi featuring kevin grants awesome so kenyan music lovers you are coming to the end of this week's episode As always as we approach the weekend don't drink and drive support the good Kenyan music by the artist tickets to their show by their merchandise and also by their music Adoveli podcast is out in each and every Friday and also we like to mention that the music that us curated by Eugene is not available on YouTube but you can find it on our audio podcast that is across all the audio podcast streaming platform that we have mainly SoundCloud if you go there You'll get to listen to all those songs. Hey, yo. Hello. Hello. I find myself listening all the time. New Year with Adu Valley Podcast. Playing Kenyan music.